This is Aaron Bracey from PhilHoops.com with St. Joe's coach Phil Martelli. Uh, coach, you've had a few days to reflect on the Villanova win. Um, I know as coaches you kind of don't like to look backward, but um, I'm going to ask you to look backward and tell me uh, sort of how you feel after a couple days. Well, I think that what we created was a memory for everybody that was involved. It was a historic night. Um, it wasn't an historic game. Uh, it wasn't a game for the centuries or any of that kind of thing. It wasn't two ranked teams. But it was two fierce rivals. I thought fought very hard. And I, I saw a clip uh, at the end, and, and, and Tay Jones and Malik Waynes embraced. That's what Philadelphia is about. Uh, certainly, I think, still think the noise is in Hagen Arena. I don't think I think there's probably people still trying to get out of Hagen Arena even a couple days later. Uh, I have great admiration for my team because Monday we were off on Sunday. Monday we came back, and right away it was weight room, and there was an intent. I think they enjoyed what they did, and now they realize that the next challenge was ahead, and that we really we have a nice start to the year, but we haven't accomplished anything yet. Having said that, does it feel good, Bill, to have sort of the program back to sort of where you would maybe have expected it? Well, I, I think relevance is a big deal, Aaron. In this city, uh, if you fall off the map, it's really difficult. And we're not reloading or rebuilding this. For this particular group of players, they're building their own little remembrances, uh, they're building their own little reputations. And so I I'm delighted for the players. I'm delighted to have the students back, certainly, and uh, th those loyal fans that stayed with us. I didn't want it to be blind, uh, blind commitment, but I wanted it to be something that they appreciated the way that these guys went about their play and the fact that they enjoy playing together. And I think that that's evident when you watch them. Now tomorrow night you have Coppin State and um, sort of probably I would expect as a coach a tough spot coming off a big win. Um, what are you guys going to need to do uh, to make sure you're in the right frame of mind to play Coppin State? Well, we're going to have to play for 40 minutes. Um, Fang Mitchell's team plays basketball, and they don't care about Hagen Arena. They don't care about, well, the last two games were wins against Creighton and Villanova. Uh, they've been to Purdue. They've been to Illinois. They're not going to change coming in here. We have to make our own noise. Uh, you know, if you say there were 5,000 people here the other night, I don't know anybody could dispute that. But uh, certainly... There was noise created by that buzz. You could feel it when you got here an hour and a half before the game. It's not going to be that way, and I, I understand that. It's Christmas week. The students are gone. So I'm really going to lean on my team. But I will say this. I, I couldn't be happier with this group. I thought that uh, Monday's practice was maybe our best of the year. We followed it up, and we were – Solid, and I give us about a, a B since this is the week of grades. I give us about a B for the practice on uh, on Tuesday, and I'm expecting us to play our A game on Wednesday night. And Phil, also, uh, you mentioned the other night that those those points that Ronald and CJ scored and the way they scored them are sort of they're two points on the scoreboard. You said, but they're worth more than two points. Um, can you just talk about their athleticism? And also, have you ever experienced that as a coach at St. Joe's? I don't ever remember having uh, really seen this type of athletic ability maybe in the Atlantic 10. I mean, you know, maybe somebody could say Marcus Camby, but he played with Tyrone Weeks. Uh, they're j these, these high risers, it's just extraordinary. You're, you're never out of a play. And uh, what I like is that they do it in a respectful way. It's, an, it's a really... Uh, could tear down an opponent's confidence level, whether it be the block shots or the dunks. And I like the fact that both of them have so much more to do and so much, so they can grow so much in their game. But the fact that they do it with respect for the game. Ron, you know, the other night got into got a little bit, but you you don't ever see that. And uh, that's a credit to the way they, that they've been raised both by their families and by their youth coaches. And finally, Phil, do you ever find yourself uh, sort of watching them, whether it's during a game or in practice, and just kind of marveling at what they can do? I, I work really hard at keeping a certain uh, 
uh, demeanor on, on the sideline. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I try not to overreact. Uh, but I will tell you that w when some of the plays that they make, I have to bite the inside of my lip because I've never – uh, I really have never experienced it, and I think somewhat of a ch it's, I see it as somewhat of a challenge because maybe there's more that I could do for them, and maybe there's more ways to get get this athleticism to come to the forefront. Um, I'm delighted with both of them, uh, and they they are first and foremost really really good young kids, and that's really healthy right now. Reporting live from Hagen Arena, this is Aaron Bracey with St. Joseph's coach Phil Martelli.